quick video just want to talk about inverter sizes on these power stations um, because you know you can basically get these inverters in, in almost any size and um, but there are some some kind of like things you want to consider right so you know with AC appliances typically what you see is that a lot of um, a lot of appliances that that draw like a high amount of power it's usually like around a thousand watts or higher right and then um, and then there's kind of not a lot of um, appliances that use like around five six hundred watts I mean I mean unless you have one that you know you know uses something like that specifically um, but but generally there's like there's a gap <laughs> you know and then um, you'll actually find that a, a lot of other uh, AC appliances that aren't high power are actually like below 300 watts and, and in many cases below 200 watts so um, you know just something to consider when you're buying a power station is like this is the Blue Eddy EB55 I'm actually um, not the biggest fan of having an inverter like around this size like around 700 watts um, because of those reasons right and the reason why I like having a power station with a with a smaller inverter like a two or three uh, hundred watt inverter and maybe at the most like 500 watts is that um, those it just in general it's going to be more efficient like like usually the bigger the inverter the more power it's going to use right so um, you know in this case I'm not exactly sure how useful a 700 watt inverter really is right because like I said there's kind of not a lot of appliances that use you know five six seven hundred watts so um, if you're going to be running like a TV or some, you know, a small load, this inverter is still like too big for that, right? You're just going to be wasting power because this 700 watt inverter is just going to use more power than like a 300 watt inverter, right? And then, um, and then the, 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 the big question is like, okay, so you do have a little bit more power here with this 700 watt inverter, right? Um, so, the, so the big question is, can it power, can it power like, a bigger a higher wattage load right <laughs> because then it's like you know it would be kind of nice if it could do that then right and that's why I always say like you know basically get like a thousand watt inverter at least in a thousand watt inverter and one power station and then get another power station that has just like a two or three hundred watt inverter um, for smaller loads because that small inver inverter is just gonna run small loads a lot more efficiently because these AC inverters, they, they use power, like the inverter itself uses power, right? And, and generally, the bigger it is, <laughs> the more power it's going to use, right? So, um, yeah, I just want, let's just do a quick test on this because I just want to see. This thing usually runs, this is like a 800 watt hot plate, and um, it usually runs somewhere around there. And um, so, yeah, let's just see, because um, these hot plates are really nice to have for emergency situations because, you know, you can still cook right right you can still cook like a like a normal meal with one of these you know um, and you don't got to worry about the the stove right so um, and these things are like super cheap they're they're small obviously you can see they're small so you um, just tuck them in a cabinet right and then uh, pull it out as needed um, so yeah let's just see what happens because you know as I said this is 700 watt inverter and this thing should pull a little bit more than that but who knows maybe this thing maybe the um, underrated a little bit so let's just see let's just turn it on and first thing I notice is the fans do come on on the Bluetti and 800 watts so okay now we're getting that warning there's the overload warning and it just shut off so that is um, that's what I expected to see and so that that again it's like it's kind of like I'm not exactly sure how useful this inverter is right because um, you're you're probably just going to be running small loads off of this inverter and then you'd be better off just getting a unit with a smaller inverter because it's going to be more efficient to run those off a smaller inverter so so yeah just um, just something to consider just a tip um, and yeah hopefully find this interesting and helpful and yeah thanks for watching